linearly independent vectors and let's now look into the definition of linearly independent vectors. A set of vectors u, v, w, x like that is linearly independent if the only linear combination a u plus b v plus c w plus d x plus so on that produces the zero vector is the one in which the coefficients a b c d are all zero right so that is the definition of linearly independent vectors right so we say this combination which is a u plus b v plus c w plus d and so on is equal to zero only if all a b c d are all zero only if when a equals to zero b equals to zero you know c equals to zero d equals to zero so on so all coefficients are zero only then such a linear combination will be called independent vectors otherwise they will be linearly dependent so that is what really the linearly independent vectors are correct now we will show it with the help of an example also let's try to focus a bit more on this definition right so let's go back and think what were linearly dependent so one case was i'll use this space so first let's talk about linearly dependent so that we know what is independent also so when we say linearly dependent then what did we mean we said they are parallel collinear and therefore scalar multiple right so we say well the, in that case u equals to k times v correct since they are linearly dependent, they have to be parallel, right? So we are considering two vectors which are kind of parallel. So now we can bring the terms together and we say u minus kv is equal to zero. That means their linear combination is zero for some value where k is not zero, correct? k is not zero. k is a real number where k belongs to zero and k is not equal to zero, correct? So they are linearly dependent. And in case of independent variables, what we have is, if we have independent variables, in that case, we know they are not scalar multiples, right? So their combination is not equal to zero. Do you understand? Their combination is not equal to zero. But if we say that they are zero, then that is possible only if both their coefficients are zero, correct? So, so that is the definition of linearly dependent and independent vectors. Now, let's try to prove here. It says, show that i and j, the basis vectors for a plane, are linearly independent, right? Let's do the part two of the problem, where we want to show that i and j, which form the basis for R2, are linearly independent. So that means what we want to prove here is that if I write a times i plus b times j equals to zero, that implies that both a and b should be equal to zero for them to be linearly independent. But if we can find some other value of a and b which can make them zero, then they are dependent, right? So the strategy here is to show that well let us assume that a is not equal to zero then what is the case right so what we will do is we will assume that a is not zero so we say let a be not equal to zero now in that case what happens let's see. if a is not zero then then we have a i is equals to we can take this on the right side so we get minus b j right and therefore a equals to sorry and therefore i equals to minus b over a times j and then that indicates that i is a scalar multiple of j right or that indicates that i and j are parallel but that is not possible since we know that i and j are not parallel they are perpendicular right so this statement is false so this statement which we have got here we know is false 
correct? Since we know that I and J are not parallel, correct? They are perpendicular. They are actually perpendicular, not parallel. So it doesn't really work. So A not equal to 0 doesn't really work. Now, similarly, if we put B not equal to 0, let's say, for this, if you say B is not equal to 0, then what happens? The same scenario. If B is not equal to 0, then we can write B times J equals to minus AI or, or J equals to minus A over B times I. Or we are trying to say that they are parallel. Well, they are not parallel. So that is not true either. So this is also false. Right? Individually, we have seen that if they are not zero, we land into this situation. So the only solution here is that they should be zero, right? And both should be zero. Now, if I assume, let one of them be zero, the other is not zero. Now, let us say one of them is zero. That is, we are saying that A is not equal to zero, but let's say B equals to zero. Let us say one of them is zero. Then what happens? If A is not equal to 0 and B equals to 0 in this equation, then we get AI plus 0 equals to 0. That means AI equals to 0, right? AI equals to 0. Now, AI can be 0 only if A equals to 0. Do you see that? Since I, we know, is a unit vector. I is not 0. So this implies that A equals to 0, which is contradictory, right? This is also contradictory, right? It contradicts our assumption. So we have seen in this case that the only possibility is when both A equals to B equals to 0, then only this linear combination is 0, right? Only then AI plus BJ equals to 0 and therefore they are linearly independent. Therefore, they are correct. So, you have seen that if two vectors are not parallel, because we know they are perpendicular, but if they are not parallel, even then these statements are correct, right? So, we can actually prove that any two vectors which are not parallel will be linearly independent using this strategy. So this strategy works for any two vector. Now important thing here is since any two vectors which are not parallel can be written like this where a and b are not equal to zero that means just as i and j can form basis for R2 any two non-parallel vectors can also form basis for R2 or they can span in R2. Do you understand? So the important thing which we also conclude from here, which I'll write right here for you, that any two non-collinear vectors can form spanning set in R2, right? So we concluded from here that any two non-collinear vectors can form spanning set in R2, not just i and j. i and j are special. They are perpendicular to one another and so they are special. But any two can form a spanning set in R2 if they are not collinear. Right? So that's another conclusion and you can apply the same proof for doing that. Thank you.